Hey, welcome back. So I thought it might be fun to have a quick look at uh, Forgotten Legions and the uh, Road to Damascus scenario, which I own the original one and, you know, read the rules, got the map out, punched the counters, got it all organized. One thing led to another. It never happened. And lo and behold, before I can get back to it, out comes Compass with, uh, you know, one of their reboot series, Designer Deluxe Edition thingy majiggies. And, you know, I was curious about this game originally because of Reluctant Enemies, right? The OCS title that was the introductory game that was uh, one mapper with about 60 or 80 counters and uh, two and a half mile or two and a half kilometer, I forget, two and a half mile, let's call them two and a half kilometer because I forget, uh, hexes. And uh, I wanted to compare how the two played against each other in terms of gameplay and historicity and what happened when and all that sort of fun stuff and you know both uh, this both these titles of course uh will feature some australian units which is always nice when you're a little aussie guy so the first thing to note is of course the much more substantial five eighths counter size and subsequently larger hexes to go with that which means you need a lot more space all right i'm uh, i'm hanging off the air edge of this desk here as you can see we're living on the edge as they say and uh but hey beautiful attractive uh <clears throat> compass games i can't find a term record track counter i'm not sure if there's supposed to be one and if there is i can't find it unless it's on the floor somewhere but, you know, that is entirely possible. So, you know, it, beautiful artwork on the map. Uh, different areas covered by both these games. I just thought this might be a nice, fun uh, thing to compare here. So this uh, Reluctant Enemies really ends at the Beirut area, right? If we're um, trying to orient myself now, I guess. But nevertheless, it, it, it's uh, at... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the northernmost part is Beirut, right? So we go across the line there. And you'll see this rail lines here, right? That's very important for transportation in this game because it's a logistic-oriented uh, or centric uh, title. And the game wraps up down but uh, ends up further south at Amman in the Transjordan area. So that's interesting. There's the Sea of Galilee here. That's a nice reference point for you. Up here, we'll see here is Beirut in the middle of the maps. We go all the way up to Tripoli, all the way across there. And you'll note there's no rail lines anywhere. Uh, it's not necessary in this game. There's Damascus, a little haven of green right there. Look at that. It's so sexy, right? You'll notice I haven't clipped the counters yet. I'm in, I'm in a hurry. I want to I wanna get some gameplay going here. Uh, because my weekend is kind of busy. So, when down to the south is the Sea of Galilee, and that's where it wraps off, right? So, a good 20 hex difference north and south between the two. If this is two and a half kilometers a hex, uh, from here to there, from this uh, town or village to Damascus is eight hexes here, and it's 10 hexes here. Oh, where's Damascus? Uh, here. And Damascus is a two-hex city in this particular instance. And there's that town I was we, we, I showed you over there, right? And I think that's eight hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hexes, sorry, that's right. These guys are eight, the other guy's ten. Gives you a, a representative sort of scale, right? We know that those guys are two and a half kilometers. Is it really two and a half kilometers? Or two and a half miles? Something tells me it's miles. Yeah, it's miles. There you go. So, uh, interesting stuff. Similar scale of units. You'll notice a lot of these units are skewed or cocked, as the case may be. And some are actually upside down as well. It's because they have different release times. And that is going to factor into the game here. And I, I, I didn't have a way of keeping track of them. And I didn't want to put poker chips down on the map at the moment. Uh, but we'll we'll work that out. Anyway, really straightforward rules. I'm gonna skim through these rules. I'm pro maybe gonna do some of this live because I think it'll be straightforward enough that I can look the rules up quickly and it won't bore you completely to tears. So maybe Saturday night we'll we'll run this up live and play 
two or three turns, see what happens, uh, see if the the theories and the approach are going to be similar to this game. And, and I'll get into that. We'll talk about the, the strategies in the separate uh, from the two games and how they might apply here in the in the video on uh, on Saturday Night Live if I if I actually get around to doing it. Uh, I may chicken out on doing the live stuff. Haven't done stuff live for a while. All right. Adios. Talk to you soon.